Hey, Windsor, did you know that Mr. Mandrel has a special lady? <laughs> What's wrong with him? Oh, he's been that way ever since his mom started dating Mr. Mandrill. Sob, 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 sob. Aw, don't cry, Windsor. I'm not crying. I'm just saying sob over and over. Come on, your mom's a single gal. It's inevitable she's gonna date. Plus, she's wicked hot. <laughs> you take that back. Okay, your mom's not wicked hot. Um, take that back. I'm a mess. Sigh. I just can't get used to the idea of my mom dating a teacher again. How's Margie? Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean your mom. You need to honor the restraining order, Ponch. Well, I can wash my hands. Okay, I'm gone. It's just flat out icky when your mom dates a teacher. Yeah, teachers shouldn't date or have real lives. Well, Mr. Mandrill isn't really a teacher or a qualified guidance counselor. Actually, I don't know what he's qualified for. You wanted to see me? How's that bump? Besides it being a constant and painful reminder that you're dating my mother, it's fine. Glad to hear it. Can I go, Mr. Mandrill? Please, call me my niece. No. Then how about Bob? I feel like there's a wall between us. There is. I want to be your friend. Stop dating my mother. I thought we could spend some quality time together outside of school. Um, I think I hear my mom's car. No, actually, she's asked me if I would drive 